All right, guys, Luke 14, 26 now says, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Guys, I don't remember the word hate. I don't remember Jesus ever saying hate your family for any reason. I know a lot of people try to do a little tap dance, try to explain this away. Here's what I remember. I did find residue for this from 1897, the Millennial Star. If any man come to me and forsake not his father, mother, wife, etc. Uh, Rising Tides in India, 1963. If any man come to me and forsake not his father and mother and wife. Uh, let's see here. Down here is the Asheville Citizen Times from 1966. If any man come after me and forsake not his father and mother, he cannot be my disciple. Guys, that's what I remember. The word forsake is a far cry from the word hate. If you forsake something, I think of somebody maybe that just say leaves his family to follow Christ. Maybe they're not living for Christ. And at some point you have to forsake them, right? But at what point do you ever need to hate them? That does not, in my opinion, follow the character of God. Now, guys... Here's a clip I find a little strange. This is from Jonathan Yusuf. This is the son of Michael Yusuf. And to be honest, I've really enjoyed Michael Yusuf over the years, the father. Enjoyed a lot of his sermons. But the son has a little section here preaching about Luke 14, 26. Let me see what you guys think. I get a little bit uncomfortable hearing it. And in Luke chapter 14... Jesus tells us about the nature of discipleship. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. So Jesus is looking for hateful people. Hmm. People who hate their family. And yes, people who hate themselves. Right? I've heard people that will take this text and say, see, Jesus' teaching is totally unbalanced. How can you hold this? We know what he says. He's the same one who tells us to love our enemies. This is the same Jesus yeah. who's called the Prince of Peace. Yes. This is the same Jesus who tells his disciples that the world will know you for your love that you have right. for one another. Yeah, it's out and of character. he wants us to hate. Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus is teaching through hyperbole here. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is an obvious and an intentional exaggeration. Is it obvious? But there is a deeper issue that I feel... I don't know, guys. To me, it's not as obvious as he may say. I don't remember the language, number one. I found residue that shows the word forsake instead of hate. Let me know what you guys think. It was interesting to hear what appeared to be kind of uncomfortable laughter from the audience, as if they'd never heard it before, and they were very uncomfortable hearing him talk about Jesus telling us to hate one another. So, found that interesting. Talk to you guys soon.